In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about scroll effects and how to create a scroll effect in Adobe Muse. So if you're not familiar with scroll effects, uh, I've got a website here called scrolleffects.com. Um, I personally didn't create it, but I happened to uh, come across it. And these are scroll effects with Adobe Muse CC. And as you can see, that balloon kind of scrolls, changes position as you scroll. And we have different types of scroll effects here that you can take a look at. And all of these are possible within Adobe Muse. So we can look at this one come together. And as we scroll, we can see everything comes together. And things come in and out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and it is a, a trend in web design to add scroll effects to add more interest and dynamic uh, and make your website a little more dynamic. Yet add more interest to your website and make it more dynamic. So these are more scroll effects here. We have an opacity scroll effect there, and here we go. It just kind of scrambles there. So as you can see, uh, the way this website was done is works really well because it actually demonstrates key positions, and I'm going to go over that in a second. So in a combination with checking out these websites and me going over how to create a scroll effect, you, you should have a pretty good understanding of how to create scroll effects in Adobe Muse after this video tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a scroll effect. So to create a scroll effect, you can you can create a scroll effect on any element, on any, uh, let's say we want to do text or images. Um, I'm going to do it on text and images uh, to show you an example. So I'm going to create some text, and I'm going to call it scroll effects. And I'll change the, uh, the font, make it a little bit bigger and very good and i'll center it and i'm actually going to change it to a different font so we can read it a bit better so there it says scroll effects and if we want to add a scroll effect to this uh this element um, we simply go to scroll effects here i'm in my panel section here of adobe muse or if you don't see this scroll effect uh panel you can go to window and click on scroll effects all right, very good. So I have my scroll effect window open. And to add a scroll effect, we can simply click on motion here. We have different types of scroll effects. We have the motion scroll effect. We have the opacity scroll effect. We have the slideshow scroll effect and the edge animate scroll effect. In this video, we're going to be working with the motion scroll effect. So to add motion, we simply click on motion. And we see we have a key position here. Now with scroll effects, this is very important. You're going to be working with key positions a lot. And this is what's going to tell um, this element what to do when this key position, just picture it as like a big circle around this kind of square thing here. Um, th this is what tells the element what to do after this key position hits the top of the browser. So as you can see, there's a little bit of space between this key position and the top of this website in Adobe Muse. So as we scroll, this element is going to scroll up and this key position is going to hit the top of the browser and then it's going to switch to final motion. So it's going to first be an initial motion and then it's going to switch to final motion when it hits the key position. And we can change the key position. So let's say we wanted the key position to already be at the top of the browser and that would mean that this element immediately is going to kick into the final motion. Or we can set it lower, we can move the element lower, and change the key position. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example. So what I want to do is I want this element to move in from the right, uh, and once it hits the top of the browser, I want it to scroll up. So in the initial motion, I don't want it to move up or down, so we just um, we leave that at zero. Uh, but I want it to move in from left to right. So I click this button here and I want it to move at a speed of uh, scroll motion one. And um, an important note, a web uh, a website in Adobe Muse, the default uh, web page scrolling speed is one. So if you set it lower than one, the scrolling speed will be slower. And if you set it higher than one, it'll be faster than the default uh, scroll speed. And this will, make a little more sense as I go through this tutorial. So we have it coming in from right to left at a speed of one, and then once it hits the top of the browser, this key position hits the top of the browser, I want it to keep scrolling at a speed of one, 
and I don't want it to move left or right. So now if I preview this from the browser, I hit Command Shift E, or I can go to File, Preview Site in Browser. We can see that this uh, scroll effects element is more to the right, and as I scroll, not much happens because uh, the top of the browser, or excuse me, uh, yeah, not much happens because we don't have enough scroll space. In order to achieve scroll effects, you have to have a page that has enough scroll space at the bottom so that the page can scroll and achieve the effect. So to add more space to the website, we simply grab one of these tabs here at the bottom, and here it says bottom of page, dra drag to adjust minim minimum page size. So I'm just gonna drag this down uh, for a few seconds, uh, and that should be good, maybe like two, one or two seconds. And now I'm gonna hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. And now we have enough scroll space and the page scrolls and we can see the element. Just picture having a key position like right here. Like if I move this over, just picture this key position here and it's like somewhere right here. And so the web page is browsing and that key position is moving, moving. And right around here, that key position hits the top of the browser right up here and it kicks into the final motion, which is a scroll speed of one and the element moves up with the browser, uh, with the scrolling of the browser. So let's say we wanted it to stop once it hits the key position. To do that, we would just set the final motion to zero so that it wouldn't scroll after the final motion. And now if I go to File, Preview Site in Browser, or Command-Shift-E, so I scroll, scroll, and then it stops. So we just told the this element to uh, not scroll once it hits the top of the browser. All right, and we can have it come in from right to left, or yeah, left to right, and we can have it to keep moving uh, after it hits the key position. So I can do like uh, one here, so it's gonna hit the key position and it's gonna keep moving off the page. So I hit Command Shift E, and there it goes. It just hits maybe, yeah, it hits the side of the viewport. Um, and actually it just stops there because of the key position, but if I set the key position lower, we'll have more space to scroll, and that element should move farther off of the page. And excuse me, actually we just have to set it lower within the page, and to have more scroll space so that it can go off of the page. And let's change the key position. As you can see, it is an experiment to get the desired effect. Um, and I'm just kind of messing with the scroll effect a little bit. So you can see it or it hits the side of the viewport, but there is there are ways to get it off the viewport um, as you scroll. Or you know what? Yeah, it, it has to do with um, excuse me, with adding more scroll space so that that element can keep moving off the page. There we go. Perfect. All right, looks good. Yeah, we just have to add scroll space. So that's one thing you'll probably notice as you're working with scroll effects is that you want to add more scroll space so you can achieve the scroll effect. Very good. And we can achieve this effect. Excuse me, I'll just do that there. We can achieve this effect with images as well. So I'll just drop this image in there. Very good. And I'll set, select the scroll effects here, set the motion. Uh, I want it to come in from left to right at a speed of one and the final motion I want it to be zero and so it doesn't move once it hits the top of the browser. So very good. So now I'm gonna hit Command Shift E and it moves a little bit and then it stops because we don't have much scroll space and the key position is fairly close to the top of the browser. But if I moved it, you know, let's say down a little bit and did something like so, you can see it just comes in from left to right. Very nice and we can have it kind of come in diagonally by setting the, the initial motion, the vertical motion to one and the horizontal motion to one. So now the image is gonna come in diagonally. As you can see, yep, uh, scroll effects are a lot of fun. This was just a quick example. Uh, you will be working a lot with the key position here uh, on your different elements and with the uh, scroll, scroll page uh, space. Make sure you have enough space for your scroll effects and there will be more video tutorials on different effects you can achieve with these scroll effects. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.